Welcome to Job Genius Job Profiles, a career exploration series brought to you by Express Employment Professionals. This Job Genius Job Profile video features in demand occupations that can put you on the path to career success. No matter what level of education you decide to complete, there are tons of choices for jobs that offer good pay and a bright future. This video is part of the Job Genius series with information on setting career goals, finding job opportunities, writing a winning resume, acing a job interview, and putting your best foot forward on the first day of your new job. So let's jump right in and take a look at some great careers you can have with a career tech certification or through an apprenticeship. Now, pretty much any job with a good future requires at least a high school diploma or equivalent, so that's the right start. But with just a little more training at your local career tech, your opportunity for greater earnings and greater career potential can go through the roof. Today, we'll explore some in-demand careers with a bright outlook that are projected to grow rapidly and have a large number of openings in the years to come. Take the high-tech job of Computer Numerical Control, or CNC operator, for short. CNC Machinist is responsible for operating and maintaining a CNC machine, which is a computer-controlled machine used for manufacturing any kind of product. I really love the instant gratification of, you know, I make a part and I hold it in my hand, it's right there. I made that. There are plenty of Votex, vocational schools, technical schools that uh, train in CNC machining as well as manual machining. There are also many companies still that will provide apprenticeships. You've got to be meticulous. You have to be a little OCD to an extent because your parts have to come out near perfect every time. One large advantage of the CNC machining field is you know, I, I've started school, I'm already working while I'm in school, and school hasn't put me in an enormous amount of debt. I'm able to pay school as I go and start working. CNC operators run computer-controlled machines or robots that cut or shape materials like metal or plastics. They also install the tools the machine needs to work with the material, make sure everything's operating like it should during the process, and then check and measure the work when it's done to be sure it meets specifications. You can earn your certificate in around 40 weeks through a career tech program. A CNC operator needs good attention to detail strong communication skills, problem-solving skills, and needs to really care about creating a quality product because if a piece of work is off by as little as one thousandth of an inch, it goes right into the trash. There are great opportunities for advancement, too. With a little more training, you can advance to become a CNC programmer, which involves inputting instructions into the machines as well as supervising other operators. Entry-level CNC operators, on average, earn over $37,000 a year, and that's just the beginning. As your skills go up, so does your pay. With more experience, you can be promoted to CNC machinists, who earn, on average, well over $41,000 per year. With even more training and hard work, you can become a CNC programmer, with the potential to earn more than $50,000 each year. Well, if that sounds good to you, Keep watching, because we're just getting started. Let me ask you something. Do you like it when you flip a switch and the lights come on? How about when you turn on the faucet and cool, fresh water comes out? Do you enjoy refreshing, frosty air coming out of your AC vent on a hot summer day? There are things we use and rely on every day, and the good news is our need for all of them isn't going to change anytime soon. So if you enjoy working with your hands and have a mechanical mind, you may want to explore a career in the trades. Check out explorethetrades.org for an in-depth look at each of these growing careers. Let's find out right now what it's like to be an electrician. Well, electricians install all the circuitry to everything electrical that we use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis from your lighting in your house to the air conditioning to machinery in a manufacturing plant. Well, you have to like to figure things out because um, in troubleshooting, which is a big part of it, it's basically the process of elimination. There's no shortcuts. You just have to, to know the theory and then know how to put it into place and check each individual component of a circuit until you narrow down where the problem is. It's good steady work, and if you're good, you'll never run out of work. And electricity is gonna be here forever. 
If you're thinking about becoming an electrician, you should be a good problem solver, have an analytical mind, and be flexible. The national average for an apprentice electrician is a little over $14 an hour. You can expect to earn anywhere from $23,000 to $43,000 a year, depending on where you live. Once you've earned your license, you're looking at earning well over $50,000 per year. That number is even better in Canada, where a licensed electrician earns $42,000 to $72,000. Plus, you'll have the peace of mind that comes from a career in a stable field. You just learned what a bright future becoming an electrician can hold. Same thing goes for the people who keep the water flowing, plumbers. Uh, generally, my day-to-day -day would be fielding phone calls, um, dealing with city officials, code officials, and then I just go do my normal jobs where people call me and they want service at their house or they want uh, an addition to their house, they want to build a new house, so I install the plumbing. Um, I'm the guy that puts in the drains and then runs the water and runs the gas piping, so that's really what I do. If I was in a room full of people and I was trying to convince a few of them to get into the plumbing trade, I would tell them, there's not enough plumbers to go around. You are in high demand if you learn this trade. If you get this set of skills, you will never not have a job and you'll be paid very well for it. Average plumber with a license is gonna make around $25 an hour or better and they're always gonna be able to find a job. Some of the qualities that make for a good plumber are good mechanical dexterity, strong problem solving skills, and the desire to help other people by solving their problems. On average, a journeyman plumber will earn more than $50,000 a year, and it's not unheard of for a master plumber to earn in the neighborhood of $100,000 a year. Plumbers are also in high demand in Canada, and along with that high demand comes good pay. For example, a plumber in Alberta earns more than $31 an hour, with annual earnings coming in at well over $66,000. Another career in high demand in the U.S. is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning technician. No surprise when you think that just about every building you step foot in has an HVAC system of some kind. You can enroll in a full-time HVAC course at your local career tech and earn your certificate in around 10 months. After that, you'll be ready to take your state HVAC license exam and your EPA refrigerant certification exam. Then, you're ready to go to work. In some places, there are HVAC apprenticeships available, so you might want to check that out. HVAC technicians work in a variety of environments. If you like working closely with people and have good customer service skills, you may consider specializing in residential and light commercial. If you're more of a big picture person, look at becoming a commercial HVAC tech, where you'll typically work in office buildings, schools, hospitals, and factories. If you're interested in an HVAC career, you should definitely be reliable and organized. You also need good people skills. You have to be able to listen to people describe the problem they're having with their system and then ask good questions to help solve the problem. There are a lot of great opportunities out there for HVAC technicians and great pay. On average, entry-level HVAC technicians earn a little over $15 an hour or around $39,000 per year. So as you see, there are great career opportunities in the skilled trades that offer good pay and stable long-term employment. But we're not done yet. Wherever there are two pieces of metal joined together, in a building or pipeline, on a bridge, in your car, on a plane, or a ship at sea, you're looking at the work of a welder. Welding is joining two pieces of metal together to make it into one that should make it as strong as being one piece. Welding is the start of everything. A lot of times in manufacturing, it might be built, but before it can go out there and become a product, it's got to be welded most of the time. You need to work with other people also, getting everybody together to make sure that when it's done, it's done to the right print and done right. You need to find a company that does a wide variety. It could be automotive, it can be food manufacturing, it can be a lot of stuff. Just. If they do a little bit of everything, it's a lot easier to learn the trade because you can go in and step in and work somewhere else and you've already got a little bit that they don't have to teach you. Good welders are very hard to find. It's endless for a good welder. If you're thinking about becoming a welder, you should like to make things. 
You have to have good hand-eye coordination, be able to adapt to different work environments, and really care about quality and doing a good job. If you have a spirit of adventure and love to travel, you can see the world and make a great living with a welding career. You may find yourself working and living on a cruise ship, traveling with a NASCAR pit crew, or welding underwater in exotic locations around the world. Welders in all of those specialized welding fields can easily earn more than $100,000 per year. Structural welders in the U.S. earn on average around $40,000 a year. Welders are also in high demand in Canada. Depending on where you live, you can expect to earn between $40,000 and $55,000 per year. While we're talking about Canada, let's talk about yet another hot career worth checking out. While the field has lost its luster in the U.S., the mining industry is going strong in Canada and the outlook calls for a strong future. Did you know that there are more than 120 occupations available in the mining industry? From drillers and drivers to surveyors and geologists, the opportunities are amazing. There are many job possibilities open to people who graduate high school and go on to earn an underground mining essential certificate or an environmental monitor assistant certificate. You can earn an underground mining essential certificate in as little as 14 weeks. You can begin and possibly even complete your certificate while you're still in high school. This certificate will help you gain the fundamental skills you need to get an entry-level mining job. Once you're certified, you'll be qualified to begin work as a mine laborer, mining machine operator, a driller's helper, a drill core technician, an environmental monitor assistant, or several other entry-level jobs. Starting pay for a mining machine operator in Canada is around $37,000 a year. You may also want to consider enrolling in one or more short programs at select colleges to get training in specialized mining fields. In just five days to two weeks, you'll have a leg up on landing a job like driller's helper, mining exploration field assistant, drill core technician, just to name a few. Well. That's an in-depth look at just a few of the hot careers you may want to consider. Careers that you can get with just a little extra education after high school. Careers that will get you out in the workforce and earning a good living with minimal debt. Before we wrap things up today, we'll take a quick look at a few more in-demand careers worth exploring. First, let's talk healthcare. Healthcare is huge in the U.S. with plenty of opportunities that don't require years of training and education. People interested in working in healthcare should enjoy communicating with and helping people. You need to be a good listener and respond well to the stress that comes with caring for people during difficult times in their lives. A spirit of cooperation, concern for others, and attention to detail are also important traits of a successful person in the healthcare field. In only about 10 months of training at a career tech, you can earn a certificate and go to work as a medical secretary. You'll learn medical terminology, advanced software skills, and office procedures. A medical secretary performs office duties like scheduling appointments, medical coding, billing patients and insurance providers, and managing patient records. Medical secretaries can expect to earn around $33,000 a year, and there are more healthcare opportunities available. With a certificate you earn at a career tech, you can become a nursing assistant in about seven months. Nursing assistants work under a nursing staff and help move, feed, bathe, dress, and groom patients. You may also answer patient call signals and help determine a patient's needs. Nursing assistants earn around $26,000 a year on average. A home health aide provides many of the same services as a nursing assistant, but like the title implies, most often provides care for patients in their homes. Home health aides can expect to earn around $22,000 per year. All of these careers can serve as a springboard to even greater opportunities in the healthcare field. You can choose to continue your training and become a registered nurse, radiation therapist, or cardiovascular technologist, just to name a few. All of which, by the way, have a promising outlook. Still want more? Well, here's another great career blowing around out there. Wind Turbine Service Technician. These workers install, inspect, and maintain wind turbines, commonly in remote locations known as wind farms. 
You'll learn and follow rigid safety standards to protect yourself and your coworkers from the hazards of working around powerful turbines and tall towers. You should have strong mechanical aptitude, good communication skills, and knowledge of math and science. You can earn a wind turbine technician certificate from a career tech in about two months and be ready to soar to new heights in a career with average earnings of more than $47,000 a year. If you like to keep your feet a little closer to the ground and you're ready to get rolling on the road to a good paying job, then you might consider becoming a commercial truck driver. Commercial truck drivers keep our economy moving by delivering all kinds of products from groceries to building materials and just about everything in between from point A to point B. In just about a month of training at a career tech, you can earn your commercial driver's license and start earning a solid salary. The average pay for a commercial truck driver is more than $41,000 per year. In addition to driving and maneuvering a massive 18-wheeler, you'll learn how to properly load and secure cargo and perform mechanical, safety, and emergency equipment checks on your vehicle. Commercial truck drivers need to have an outstanding attention to detail, good hand-eye coordination, and be dependable and safety conscious. Well, I hope we've given you a little to think about as you consider your next step. All of the careers we touched on today are predicted to grow rapidly in the next few years and have a large number of openings. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are hundreds and hundreds of career possibilities out there. That may sound a bit overwhelming, but the good news is that there are plenty of resources to help you decide which career is right for you. In the U.S., check out mynextmove.org. This website is sponsored by the U.S. Department of Labor, and they have tons of tools to help you explore hundreds of careers. In Canada, go to jobbank.gc.ca. You can search career options based on your skills and knowledge, as well as explore careers based on job outlook, education, wages, and more. So try not to stress. Just take your time and do your homework. Remember to ask yourself these questions. What am I interested in doing? What type of training can I afford? What am I good at? And where does the amount of money I earn fit into the equation? Watch our other Job Genius Job Profile videos to learn about hot jobs available with an associate degree or bachelor's degree. This is no one size fits all answer. It's your life and your choice. So choose wisely and be confident in your decision. The Job Genius Education Series is presented by Express Employment Professionals. Visit ExpressPros.com to learn more. Your future awaits. Being a job genius is in your future. Watch all the videos to get started on your path to a great job.